I just got back home from the gym. It's about a quarter to one, quarter to two. I have my client at three. Um, and all the grocery stores were closed except Chinatown. So I got to get some fruit there. I couldn't get the baguette I wanted after the workout. But I got fruit and I'm cooking some rice now. Um, maybe that was a sign. It's Easter Sunday, right? But <laughs> the Japanese beauty supply store was open and I decided to get a lifting mask. I love, the, they have walls and walls of masks, so they, <laughs> they come in different packages. It's not like a tube like the St. Ives or Queen Helene or whatever. They're all, and they're just, they're actually masks. They come in separate containers, separate envelopes. I bought a big one and I didn't even bother reading it. $20, I was like, find a use for it. Um, so I'll do that while I prepare my food and do the rest of my laundry and get ready for my client. Um, I thought that was kind of cool to talk about. <laughs> uh, yeah, wall to walls of different types of masks and everything, because you know, well, I, it's a Japanese place. Japanese are into beauty, but Asians are into beauty, you know, Chinese also. Um, so, Yay for me. Um, <laughs> I have to figure out how to open this. I took it out of the envelope. This is not a tutorial or anything. This is just me taking it. And you're supposed to rest for 20 to 30 minutes. That's not going to happen. And you're supposed to wash your face beforehand. That's not going to happen either. This on my beard doesn't do anything, and my forehead is a lot higher than this mask. So it's obviously not a clay mask. It stays on. It's just, it's ingredients, but, I mean, I don't believe any of this shit works. The clay mask kind of solid, solidifies everything temporarily and just kind of gets you into a zen. So I like that. Um, yeah, and I still want to explore all the other ones. See if they have any clay masks. They have a lot of things sold in individual envelopes. At least I can move my lips. Talk to you later.